Have you played with ChatGPT? In the past two months, ChatGPT has not only dominated global media headlines, but also ignited a fierce AI war among tech giants. Who is the mastermind behind this war? And what is the current state of affairs? Today, let's talk about the AI war and explore the key role of OpenAI, the development team behind ChatGPT. At the end of last year, ChatGPT burst onto the scene and caused a worldwide frenzy. OpenAI, the development team behind it, also joined the ranks of Silicon Valley's top talent. Now, Microsoft has invested heavily in OpenAI, hoping to use ChatGPT to topple Google's dominance in search engine technology. But Google is not to be outdone and has announced its own AI robot, Bard, which is currently in development. In addition to this deadly showdown between the two major powers, other tech giants such as Meta, Amazon, Baidu, Alibaba, and more have also joined the battle by investing heavily in AI research. The world is now engaged in fierce AI competition. Today, we will take a look at what kind of company OpenAI is, why it has become a key player in the AI war, and what the current state of affairs is. In 2015, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, along with Silicon Valley entrepreneurs such as Sam Altman, co-founded the non-profit organization OpenAI. They had a grand vision to build friendly general-purpose AI that would benefit humanity. At the same time, OpenAI would become an open-source company and share its research results with the outside world to counter the monopolization of AI by tech giants. In the years after OpenAI was formed, they conducted a wide range of research, including the development of music composition software that can create music from just a few keywords, the creation of an AI esports team that defeated the world champion, and the play and seek experiment between two AIs. Their flagship products, such as the text generation tools GPT, GPT-2, and GPT-3, can generate coherent text content according to the user's needs. Their powerful AI drawing tool, DAL-E, has also received excellent reviews from the outside world. However, during this period, the direction of OpenAI's operations gradually changed. In 2018, Musk and the company's executives had disagreements about the development direction of OpenAI. In addition, Tesla was also developing self-driving technology and competing with OpenAI for the same talent pool. For various reasons, Musk chose to leave OpenAI. After Musk's departure, OpenAI publicly stated that they needed more resources to complete larger research projects. As a result, they began a commercialization transformation, announcing the establishment of a for-profit company to raise funds and recruit more personnel. After that, OpenAI became closer to Microsoft and exclusively licensed many key technologies to them. In return, Microsoft provided hardware and cloud services to support OpenAI's larger scale research. However, these actions have led some to question whether OpenAI has become a closed AI and is no longer open to the outside world. Even Musk publicly criticized OpenAI for violating its original intentions. Despite the criticism, Microsoft's support has indeed given OpenAI a boost in accelerating its research progress. Last year, OpenAI launched a product that shook the AI industry, the Chat GPT chatbot, based on GPT 3.5 technology. This is an ultra-powerful AI that can write papers, poems, letters, and even code. No matter what question you ask, it can provide a reasonably plausible answer and even remember previous conversations, making users feel like they are really chatting with an AI. Although ChatGPT occasionally provides irrelevant answers, its excellent conversation organization skills have impressed many people and demonstrated the terrifying power of AI. After just two months online, ChatGPT achieved the milestone of 100 million users, surpassing even the most downloaded app TikTok, which took nine months to reach the same milestone. ChatGPT may be the fastest software in history to reach 100 million users outside of China's health code system. The unprecedented success of ChatGPT has made the OpenAI development team a hot commodity in Silicon Valley. A further investment of several billion dollars was announced by Microsoft at the end of January, with internal sources estimating that the total investment could reach $10 billion. According to speculation, Microsoft will now begin integrating ChatGPT into Word, 
PowerPoint, and other Office software, allowing users to generate text quickly and easily through simple prompts and revolutionizing the way billions of people write articles and make presentations. Microsoft has also launched a new version of the Bing search engine that incorporates ChatGPT. In the future, users will no longer need to worry about keywords and can simply ask questions like, they are chatting with someone, and Bing will organize the information neatly, completely disrupting the way humans search for information. With the powerful support of OpenAI, Microsoft's goal this time is clear. They want to topple Google and challenge its dominance in the search engine market. According to leaks from Google employees, when ChatGPT appeared at the end of last year, Google's executives were shocked and immediately ordered all employees to be on high alert. Google used to dominate the search engine industry with a market share of over 90%, but now Microsoft is about to launch a major counterattack, eating into Google's market share. To maintain its position, Google had to launch the chatbot Bard earlier than planned to compete against Microsoft's ChatGPT. The first move by Google, however, did not go as planned. The stock price of Bard plummeted after netizens discovered that Bard had answered a question incorrectly in a promotional video. Taking part in a battle without adequate preparation raised questions about Google's readiness. Now, Google is conducting intensive internal testing to fix Bard's flaws, and it is expected to be publicly available to users in a few weeks. The wave of chat GPT not only scared Google, but also sparked a global AI war. In this AI frenzy, every giant wants a share of the pie. Meta, which has been deeply involved in AI for many years, is not to be outdone. Zuckerberg has pledged that Meta's goal is to become the leader in generative AI. Recently, Meta released a new large-scale language model that can solve more complex tasks. And in the future, Zuckerberg will also integrate more AI technology into Messenger and Instagram. In addition, e-commerce giant Amazon has expanded its cooperation with a new startup developing rival products to chat GPT. As for Apple, there hasn't been much action before we wrote this. However, foreign media pointed out that because Google and Microsoft are investing heavily to become the default browser for Apple products, Apple may become a powerful player in the AI war. On the other hand, the trend of generative AI has also spread from Silicon Valley to China. Chinese search engine giant Baidu has announced its entry into the AI war, with top executives issuing an urgent mobilization order to delay other businesses and focus on developing products similar to ChatGPT, called Wenjin Yiyuan. They aim to complete internal testing in March. Meanwhile, e-commerce giant JD.com has launched ChatJD, touted as an industry version of ChatGPT and expected to be used in retail and financial fields. And other tech companies like Alibaba, Huawei, and Tencent are also investing heavily in developing a Chinese version of ChatGPT, making this AI war even more intense. So, who will be the ultimate winner of this AI race? In the current stage, if a company wants to develop a model similar to ChatGPT, the development cost is incredibly high. Training the model properly can cost billions of dollars, making it a game that only a few enterprises with deep pockets can afford. In other words, the AI war will ultimately become a battle of burning money, which is not a game that ordinary businesses can afford. In a while, those companies with insufficient capital may gradually withdraw from the battlefield and reposition themselves in the AI industry. OpenAI's CEO, Altman, believes that after a fierce battle, only a few tech giants' AI models will win, and other companies will have to pay them money to develop other value-added services based on the existing models. This means that in the next two to three years, there may be 100,000 AI applications emerging, including transportation, entertainment, dining, and every aspect of life that will be drastically changed due to AI's involvement. AI technology will soon become a basic infrastructure for people's livelihoods, just like electricity. The scale of this industry will be several times larger than it is today, and tech giants will not miss out on such a huge benefit. This is why, even though AI research is so expensive, many are still willing to take a bet and try to get ahead in the market. However, as we watch these tech giants accelerate their AI development, we are a little worried. 
One of the reasons why AI chatbots have been slow to develop in the past is that tech giants have been very cautious during the development process. They would not dare to release their products publicly until they were stable and secure. But now that the AI war has begun, many companies are willing to take risks and skip the time-consuming review process to get ahead. They may not value AI's ethical controversies or the spread of fake news, which may make these AI products less trustworthy. Moreover, we also worry about what will happen if human systems cannot keep up with the rapid development of AI. As the OpenAI CEO mentioned, critical AI models may be concentrated in the hands of Google, Microsoft, Meta, and other big companies, and they will control the global AI industry. If our lives become inseparable from AI, then the operation of the entire society will depend on these tech giants' attitudes. If we cannot accept this future, how do we regulate it? Who will regulate it? These are issues that we can start thinking about as the AI war heats up. That's it for this video. Goodbye.